nicely done. Hi, Laura. We're doing our best to get the cab taped because we're not painting the cab today. We have all of our diamond plate covered and afterward we're gonna come in with a caulk gun and caulk this so if there's a, the tape isn't perfect, it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay. Here we go. Trying to protect the gasket. <laughs> there we go. Good. There we go. Okay. So my job at the moment is to is to wash and make sure the whole ambulance is clean. Uh, so we've already washed it once last night. This morning went through again. Um, and now I'm taking a dry cloth and rubbing it across different parts of the ambulance and looking to see if there's any uh, residue left. So if there's any, you know, dirty stuff coming up, I'll wash it again. Um, and if it's good, we'll just keep going. And then Case is gonna start priming and start paint soon. All right, it's all taped up, all cleaned off. Laura used our Norwex. No, I used the cheapo, I used Swiffer. Swiffer, oh. We used a Swiffer thing to get underneath the cab over. Yeah, going this way. Just attach a cloth to it, and then you can actually get under there, mostly. And the rest is taped, cleaned, we just secured the tape again. We got our tires covered. I don't care if we spray through the windows. We're good to go. We're gonna take a half hour break and come back and do some priming. Case is priming away on a very windy day, losing a lot of paint for the primer. But I'm painting very badly because I can't reach in there. <laughs> Probably painting. wear a mask. Case is going through making final touches, but I think we're at it. I think we're done. So like I had said previously, I think this is a little more army green than what we were originally intending, but I do like it. It's cool. Especially this side with those porthole windows, it doesn't look so army. The other side, other side looks a little bit army-like. <laughs> so here we are. What do you think of the ambulance? Mama, look what's it looks funny. Oh, that's Watch. nice. Watch. Mine it. looks funny. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it, it so funny? Because it was funny on the well, top. Well, I can't do it. it Mama, why? Mama. Maybe try?
Check that out. That looks really tight. Got this all riveted and seamed. We've got our lights riveted and seamed, uh, sealed up. This is, this is cool. I did some more installation and forgot to record everything. Brake lights are in, riveted on, completely sealed all the way around. We've got a bunch of excess caulk, so we'll cut it off when it's dry and then do a nice seal around the outside just to make sure it's doubly done. So today we're getting the outside buttoned up a bit. So we have these porthole windows in and Case is on the inside getting the window ready for the install on this side. So let's take a look at what's going on there. So we bought a uh, Arctic Overland window and the, the window was designed to fit in a wall gap of two to two and nine tenths or something like that. And so what we're doing is we're adding our insulation here so that we can actually tighten our window. Previously our wall was too skinny. So this allows us to fully tighten the window so it should be nice and watertight. Do the same thing on this side. So we just cut out a window and we're taking this extra and we'll be tracing a gap around so that we can get a half inch here and then we're all good. What do you think I'm doing? I'm ruining a razor blade, that's for sure. Am <laughs> I ruining a razor blade? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> that's bad parenting. <laughs> you guys want to knock it out? Yeah! Okay, over here. Um, you missed something! I missed something over there. Over okay. here. Yep, good eye. Ready? Nice. Yeah, nicely done. <laughs> So we've done a bit of a funny thing. <laughs> we are adding these rock climbing wall uh, pieces to our, to our uh, ambulance because it'll make it easier to get on the roof. Um, they don't have to have a ladder that we're carrying and then we can climb up nicer. I don't know, when it's fun, why not? Ready. Okay. Probably could go more. Never mind. You think I can touch more? Maybe a little bit. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. One. Oh yeah. Sturdy. Woo! This looks a little ridiculous, Mama Mia. Okay, so you're gonna add one more above the tire. So we'll step on the tire and we'll have four on the back and then one on the roof you want to do? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so there will be a tire there. And then there's a handle at the top. Nice. Here, show us the handle. Okay. I don't know if I can get that with you. Here you go. Show us the other handle. There it is. So just grab this on the way down, and it's an easy climb from there. Hi. Hey, that'll work, Laura. Looks funny. <laughs> so today, we're gonna be putting Henry's roof coating on the roof. Okay, on the roof and ready to do some painting. All right, so on the roof, we have our blue painter's tape installed. 
It's tight most of the way. There's a few little gaps where we have weld seams. Uh, so I gotta come in here and get it all welded or uh, uh, taped back up. And we should be able to just go roll right over the top of this. Now, we painted a school bus quite some time ago. And I recall going through the paint very fast. And the strategy I used at this point in time was just taking the gallon of paint and literally just pouring a line and rolling it out. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing today, not using a, uh, a paint tray, which could be a problem, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, by the way, by the way, I have already cleaned off the roof. We used some soapy water, uh, a big old car scrub brush, and we got it all nice and clean. And so this is nice and nice and grippy. We'll get the, uh, the Henry's stuck right on there. All right, that worked really well. We did the first third and went through half our paint. So <laughs> we're gonna run out for sure. Now that I'm looking at this, I'd like to put two layers of rubber down too, just to make sure it's extra waterproof. And I also need to go through and get this roof rail uh, all taped up so I don't get paint all over it because I forgot to do that. So here we go. We're there. Ooh. Roof is good. If you can see, there's some little bumps. That is from the roller and the hairs that came off of it. So next time I'd probably de-hair your roller. I forgot to do that, but it looks pretty good. <laughs> 